coffee. We are going to be replacing the strings on this bass guitar, they haven't been changed for a year and a half, with some power slinkies. And um, I think I've got standard regular slinkies on here at the moment, so uh, we're going a bit heavier. I'm going to be redoing the uh, intonation because it is not so good at the moment. And I'm just generally doing a test to see whether it's worth changing your strings and how that affects the recording because I couldn't find that many good videos out there. I think on the screen at the moment you'll see the tuner and I'll just give you a demonstration of the tuning and the intonation to see where we're at. Let's try and remember how to play a bass riff. Tone knob is down. Okay, let's try that again. We are currently on the bridge pickup. So I'm going to do a little bit of a quick string change and we'll see how this goes. tune up now so bear with me they are already sounding a lot brighter i never remember which way this is i've set the intonation on the bass i've adjusted the saddles so that we're in tune when we're open and we're in tune when we're at 12th fret i will have a bit of a tweak later but this is how it sounds for now with the new strings on the intonation tuned up so we're going to do the Bridge pick up first. sounds much better. So I just wanted to provide some examples of what it sounded like in a recording before and after a string change and hopefully that's helped you. The intonation and the setup by no means is the perfect way or the ideal way of doing things but it's how I set my guitars up for me and how I enjoy playing my bass um, and then it means that I actually have an understanding of how these um, things are set up 
and also saves me quite a lot of money because I think normally in the UK it costs anywhere from 40 to hundreds of pounds for a, a professional to set the instrument up for you. The little bit of hassle is actually worth the output that uh, I put into it. Thank you.